Well, we have been looking forward to this time for a long time, and God's going to do some great things today, and uh, been shuffling around a little more. We've had a few technical issues, so Everybody uh, just pray. we bless our equipment it work. that it's all going to work today, because uh, one way or another, this media is going to show. So um, one, one time I was in Kenya, and I, I felt... I had a a PowerPoint that had some videos that I thought were really important, just the pictures were important, and it it was storming, and and the the electricity went out, and when the electricity came back on, the projector didn't come back on, and and so I stood up, and I I, I pointed to the projector hanging up, and I said, in the name of Jesus, turn on, and it turned on right then, (laughs) so uh, we have a miracle working God, and we have seen him work so many miracles here. And uh, what we're going to experience today is, is a miracle. And uh, as we are in this time of Andrew and Emily transitioning to senior leadership here, and uh, we're going to, later in the year, we're going to celebrate Marcy and I in our 32 years, so don't, don't worry about that. Uh, it was just too much to cram into one day, and, and this is the first step that that we need to take today, and uh, it's an awesome step, and uh, Marcy and I are still going to be here. Uh, Marcy has transitioned to off staff. I'll be on staff part-time, and uh, we're going to be more awesome than ever, but we're going to be raising up the next generation. We do believe that our best days are still ahead, and uh, that it's all been leading towards this, and uh, but... What an honor <laughs> it has been to do this with you for the last 32 years. You have stood beside us. <laughs> I used to be able to not cry. And uh, Marcy, Marcy likes it when I cry, so... Yeah, but you have stood beside us, you have supported us, you have believed in us in every season. You have lifted our hands in intercession when we were not strong enough to lift them ourselves. You have been willing to go wherever Holy Spirit has led And we bless you for even greater adventures following Holy Spirit. You have given much to your city and to the nations. And we bless you to give even more in Jesus' name. You have sent teams all across the nation and all across the earth. And we bless you to send even more and to multiply. You have been an incredibly empowering church a breakthrough pioneering church, and we bless you to empower even more for more breakthrough and to pioneer and be on the front line in this season. You have worshiped in spirit and in truth and encountered God, and we bless you and declare that your greatest encounters are still ahead. You have continued to run after Jesus in every season, and we bless you to grow and increase daily in your revelation of him. You have given incredibly generously, even in the midst of lack, and we bless you to be able to give even more and to prosper as never before. Your songs have been sung around the world, and we bless you for more. We bless the resources, the books, the manuals, the podcasts, the websites, and the media of all types that are going to come through this house. And you have continually grown in your revelation of Jesus and your passion for him. And we bless you to grow even more. And you have allowed Holy Spirit to manifest however he is desired. Whether it was silence, repentance, weeping, soaking, meditation, dancing, shouting, shaking, trembling, speaking in unknown languages, or being drunk and intoxicated with the Holy Spirit. You have given Holy Spirit freedom. And that's an amazing, amazing thing.
You have seen many come to Jesus here, out in our city and around the world. And I bless us for greater harvest in this coming season. You have valued and honored every gift, from serving to power gifts, miracle gifts, and speaking gifts. You have seen cancers disappear and every kind of healing imaginable. You have seen every type of bondage imaginable broken and smashed. And you have boldly confronted demons and not backed down. You are known around the world as a house of God's presence. You have cultivated and fought for a healthy culture of authenticity, honor, and empowerment. You have grown from a research resource church into a strong apostolic community. And you have truly been a house of prayer. And I believe our greatest days of prayer are still in the future. You have released the prophetic across this city, across the nations, and across the earth. And you have let the children come to Jesus and encounter his love and goodness. And you have empowered children and seen them prophesy and heal the sick. Together, we have experienced life-changing encounters for the last 32 years. And we have seen much transformation. And we believe in this season that we're stepping into a time of double portion blessing. Um, the legacy that we have here at Convergence, it's not just mine <coughs> and Steve's. It's all of ours. Yeah. It's all of you who have loved, who have stood, who have prayed, who have sown, who have grown, pioneered, built, yeah. pruned, believed, served, led, and poured your lives into this house. Mm. Those who are here, those who have been here, those who just got here. <laughs> And those who are coming, you're all the living stones that God uses to build this wonderful house. We knew we needed succession. We didn't know who it was. We didn't have any, it didn't have to be our biological family. But God began to make clear it was Andrew. So it really is God's idea. <laughs> In recent months, when people would start to pray for me or for Steve, they would end up praying for Andrew. <laughs> Some of them didn't even know Andrew. <laughs> You'll hear one of them later. Andrew already has so much favor in our city with business people, with other pastors. It's really supernatural. And the leaders of other ministry movements have actually tried to recruit him to come and pastor with them. <laughs> he could have done a lot of things, but God called him here. And it's not the easiest thing to become a leader in a place where you grew up. <laughs> but the favor, the wisdom, the anointing that started coming when he said yes is undeniable. Mm. And this is how God works when we say yes to what he's doing. It becomes supernatural. So this transition doesn't just come with all the natural things that make it great. It comes with all the supernatural things that come from saying yes to God. Mm. We're so encouraged and excited for all of us here at Convergence and all of the people who are actually going to become part of Convergence mm -hmm. because we're entering, as Dan McCollum said, when he was here, we're entering a double portion season. And we're going to hear from him now. Hi, this is Dan McCollum from Prophetic Company. And I want to say congratulations to Andrew Fish in his new position at Convergence Church. I have a long history with Convergence and so excited about the apostolic prophetic foundation that you're built on through Steve and Marcy. But I truly believe that this next generation is a double portion generation carrying the best of what the generation before has gone with and taking it to a new place and a new degree. And that's what I speak as a blessing over all of you today, but especially Andrew as he moves into this new position. God bless you. All right.
great. Woo-hoo. Yeah. Andrew and Emily, I just want to share a few things with you from 2 Timothy chapter 1. Paul says, I'm an apostle of Christ by the will of God, according to the promise of life in Christ Jesus. To Timothy, my beloved son, grace, mercy, and peace from God the Father and Christ Jesus our Lord. And Paul had the awesome opportunity of of having sons, sons in the faith. And uh, Andrew, you're going to have you're going to have many spiritual sons. You guys are going to have spiritual sons and daughters, and you're going to get to release the grace and the mercy and the peace of God over many people. And he goes on to say, I thank God whom I serve with a clear conscience the way my forefathers did as I constantly remember you in my prayers night and day. And just Paul here showing us the importance of prayers. And I know the most important thing I've done in these last 32 years is to pray. And the more I did this, the more I realized that time spent in prayer is, is never time wasted. And this is a house of prayer. And I, I, as I said, I, I, Andrea, even it's under your leadership that we really established the, the house of prayer. And that is such a step in the right direction. And even many years ago, I learned I would spend hours striving trying to get a message I learned that when things aren't flowing, I just spent more and more time in prayer. And, uh, and I've never regretted taking most of my mornings to pray. And, uh, and Paul just shows us here that was a large portion of his life. And he says, I was longing to see you even as I recall your tears so that I may be filled with joy. And God's going to give you relationships. He's going to give you people who are going to be a part of your lives. One of the things that we've had the privilege, we feel like a piece of our heart is all over the world <laughs> as God has knit us together with people all over the world. And, and you're, you guys have experienced that. You're going to experience more of that. And there's going to be tremendous joy in that. And I want to encourage you guys to always choose joy. Um, I've tried it in heaviness, and joy is better. <laughs> And uh, so Paul says, so that you may be filled with joy. And I just wanted to share a a thing from my journal, Andrew, where you and I encountered the Lord together. I was preparing my message on December 9th, 1994. You were about four and a half years old. And I was preparing to preach, and I was was typing a message from Hebrews 11. And I started getting this prophetic word. And the Holy Spirit fell on me, and I began to shake, typing on my computer, and this was, this was at our house. And after a while, you came in, Andrew, and you noticed that I was shaking. You asked why I was doing that. <laughs> and I said, that's the Holy Spirit touching me. And you began to watch me, and the Holy Spirit began to touch you too, Andrew. And it, you and I had a beautiful time together in the presence of the Lord. We were both full of joy. We both began to laugh, and it was obvious, obviously from the Lord. And it, it was a wonderful experience in the presence of the Lord with one of my sons. And my prayer was, may it happen many more times. And it has, and I believe it's going to happen many more times. So Paul goes on to talk about Timothy's inheritance. And he says, for I'm mindful of the sin- sincere faith within you, which first dwelt in your grandmother Lois and your mother Eunice, and I'm sure that it's in you as well. And Andrew and Emily, you guys have such tremendous legacy and inheritance in your family. And your family is tremendously proud of you. Yes, and we wanted to take this opportunity to actually introduce Emily's parents who came here today to represent her family because you guys have all the inheritance from Emily's family as well. And it's super rich. And we've invited them to come up now and share a blessing for Andrew and Emily from their family. <laughs> David and Dana McElvin. I'll probably make you feel right at home because I'm probably okay. going to cry too. <laughs> um, well, you're
are so honored to be here, and we wanted to be in y'all's presence um, as Emily and Andrew are honored today, and Adeline as well. So I wrote a, um, a few notes. Um, through the years, we have definitely seen this process begin to take place. We've seen Andrew walk very closely with the Lord in the good times and in the bad times. And in the bad times, we've seen him cl cling to the Lord even more closely. And it's a testimony to everyone here and to everyone in our family as well. And about, and about six months ago, I think it was about six months ago, I came for a visit and um, I was here on a weekend and um, Andrew preached and the presence of the Lord was so strong here. And the Lord really used Andrew that day. And um, I can remember when he came home, Emily and I had gotten home before he did. And when he walked in, I told him, I don't know if you remember this. <laughs> I told him, I said, I don't know what God is preparing you for, but I know it's something big. And I think this is the start of the something big. And so I just want to leave you with the, um, the Numbers 6 verse. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and bring you peace. And I, I pray that peace as you lead and as you guide and as you begin to shepherd, you know, the new flock. And um, I just want to encourage you to continue to look to the great shepherd as he fills you the shepherd of the people. And um, for Emily, the verse God gave me, the life verse that God gave me for Emily um, a very, very long time ago. She was, I think she was three years old when I got this verse for Emily. It's Colossians 3.17. And whatever you do, whether in word or deed, do it all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. And for anybody who knows Emily, that verse has shown right in her life as well. And we're so proud of her. She has clung to the Lord, too. And again, it's a testimony for everybody in here and for your family as well. We love you both. We love Adeline. And we pray God's richest blessings upon you in your ministry. Well, as I was sitting down front thinking about what I was going to say, uh, the, <laughs> so much was running through my mind and Lord said, okay, <laughs> tell them that I love them. Thank them for their obedience. And that they are worthy. And they are worthy, and I love them. But the Lord said, I want you. to tell the body this, this body, how much I love them, thank you for their obedience, and you are worthy. He loves you. And 
y'all the same thing. But he wants you to know how much he loves you. And thank you for y'all, for your obedience. God's got great things in this body. Yes, amen. Thank, Thank you, guys, you guys so much. Yeah, and Andrew, uh, Andrew some of your family wanted to you. say hi. Congratulations, Andrew and Emily. I couldn't be more proud of you or more excited for you. Um, I love you so much. I miss you. I wish I could be there today, but I hope that you enjoy your day celebrating. Hey, Andrew and Emily, we're just so excited for you guys, so excited for all that God's doing and the, the season that you guys are stepping into, and uh, we know it's just going to be incredible. You guys have worked so hard and, and pressed in for this, so we're just so happy for you guys. We love you! We love you. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Andrew, I want to just show this little clip of, of your, your granddad praying for you at your 13th birthday affirmation right on, over in this room over here. Something so I'll need some special. good audio on this. Yeah. But I just wanted you to know I prayed for you this morning. In fact, I don't think there's been a morning, but there's very few mornings ever that I hadn't prayed for you. And uh, I'm just impressed to tell you what I what I prayed for. When I pray for you, I um, I pray Ephesians 3, 14 through 19, especially. I pray that you will be strengthened with might by God's Spirit in your inner person. Lord, you say that he will win souls is wise. Mm -hmm. And I pray that this kind of wisdom yeah. will characterize Andrew's mm -hmm. life. Mm -hmm. Yes. I pray that because your spirit lives within him, mm -hmm. that he will be courageous and bold mm -hmm. mm -hmm. and unafraid mm -hmm. to tell other people about Jesus mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. share the exciting news mm -hmm. of Jesus mm -hmm. is alive. Mm -hmm. yes. And I pray that you will make of him powerful witness. Many people yes. will turn mm -hmm. to you because of him mm -hmm. and because of his life mm -hmm. and because of the message that he courageously shares. Mm -hmm. I thank you for the tremendous potential that is mm -hmm. in Andrew. Mm -hmm. Yes, and Lord, I'm uh, praying right now that you will exploit that potential yes. to the fullest. Yes, yes God. And mm -hmm. that all that he can do mm -hmm. for you, he will be yes. for you. He died for our sins. Let's make it more personal. He died for your sins. It's so personal that he thought of you when he died on the cross. He knew your name. I couldn't imagine anything more wonderful than to get to heaven and to have somebody come up to you and say, hey, you know, I, I probably wouldn't be here in heaven if it weren't for you. I mean, Jesus is the one who saved me, but you're the one who told me about him. And if you hadn't told me about him, I might not be here. And I've been waiting on you to come to heaven because I've been wanting to thank you for sharing with me. Andrew, I felt it was important to show those videos because that's part of your inheritance. And you honored your granddad well. This is what you wrote when he passed away in, in 2012, just about how he was one of your heroes and, and the legacy and 
He was so tremendously proud of you. And as we one day were going through some of the archive things here at the church, we found, someone found, it's probably Misty, found this article. And uh, my dad was actually interim pastor here in 1966. And uh, it's great that the church actually unanimously voted <laughs> uh, for him to be uh, the, uh, the interim pastor here. Um, it also says that he's teaching at the seminary and, and he wouldn't be able to do everything necessarily. Um, and also he had two young kids at home and my mom was pregnant. Uh, so, but what an amazing inheritance. And there have been other leaders and pastors here, senior leaders through the years, uh, seven to this point and about to be eight, Andrew, and each one of them has paid a price. We want to honor them for the price that they have paid. And uh, I've looked into most of these men. Kenneth Chapin had such a heart for missions. George Worrell, a passion for evangelism. He wrote books on it. Frankie Rainey was an amazing teacher and open to the Holy Spirit back in the 70s. Uh, Jim Lassiter, Lassiter brought elders in the church, small groups, uh, began to encourage the church to move in the gifts of the Holy Spirit back in the 80s. And Andrew, so now this is part of the inheritance that, that you have. And uh, Andrew, you've, you've always had a microphone in your hand um, since you were very young. Yeah, how's that for a praise team audition? It, it, he's, get, he's getting there. <laughs> that was in a cabin in Colorado. But something happened, Andrew, when you took the microphone on December 2nd, 2018. And I watched, and I was like, wow, this is amazing. I mean, people were cheering, and, and it, it, was, it was an amazing message. But as I watched, I saw that it was more than a message. I, and I saw a mantle on Andrew of authority in the house. And I wrote this in my journal. There you are on that Sunday. And uh, I, I wrote this in my journal as Andrew preached on December 2nd. I saw a mantle of authority come upon him. It wasn't just a better message. The message was awesome, but it was a new authority. It was a new authority in the house. And people were saying it's one of the best messages ever at Convergence. <laughs> I was like, yes. And they're seeing and sensing the new place that he has. And uh, so, Andrew, back to 2 Timothy there, he says, I remind you to kindle afresh the gift of God, which is in you through the laying on of my hands. And I believe that you're going to walk in the gifts God's given you, and I believe you're going to see gifts imparted to many, many people. And uh, then he goes on to say, for God has not given us a spirit of timidity, but a power, love, and discipline. And Andrew and Emily, I believe you guys are going to break timidity off of many people. And you're going to see the power of God. You're going to see people encounter the power of God. They're going to encounter the love of God. And they're going to encounter the mind, the heart, the wisdom of God, the discipline of the Lord. And so Paul goes on in the next chapter to say this. And he says, my son, be strong in the grace. It's in Christ Jesus. And I really want to encourage you to be strong in the empowering presence of God. Whatever happens, stay in the place of the empowering presence of God. It means everything and it makes all the difference in the world. So then Paul says the things that you've heard from me in the presence of many witnesses, entrust these. And I just wanted to encourage both of you, Andrew and Emily, this word entrust means that you have treasure. Both of you guys have so much to give. You have treasure within you so much more than you know that you have to give and share. And I believe that as you share that treasure, that you're going to see it multiply. Even in this scripture, there's four generations mentioned. And I believe you're going to have incredible generational legacy. Paul is sharing with his son, Timothy. He's telling Timothy to entrust it to faithful men. And faithful men are going to teach others. 
And I believe there's going to be a wonderful grace of multiplication that's going to multiply what you guys carry and what this house carries. So I want to share a couple more video clips. Well, we want to say huge congratulations to you, Andrew and Emily, on your appointment as senior leaders of Convergence Church. Yes, it's been amazing just to watch over the years, Andrew and Emily and their maturity and their, you know, carrying responsibility and most of all, hosting the presence of the Holy Spirit. Oh, yes. And you know, Kate, succession is one of the most exciting yes. and most important transitions in any church's history and we're so thrilled it can go very wrong but we're so thrilled that uh, the holy spirit has chosen andrew and emily to lead convergence church that steve and marcy have done so well for almost 32 years leading. i know it's amazing and it that god's hand has been upon them god's hand has been upon steve and marcy as they prayed about andrew and emily and they've proved themselves faithful. They've been fruitful. It's just our joy to honor you both today, Andrew and Emily, for what God is gonna do at Convergence in this next season. Yes, and what a joy for Marcy and Steve yes. to be able to have Andrew, their son, and Emily, their daughter-in-law, to be the genuine, proper, right choice that heaven has chosen. Uh, and to lead Convergence Church. And I'm so excited about that because they're both amazing, aren't they, Kate? Are. Yes, we would have chosen them too. So we pray, Holy Spirit, fire upon you, Andrew yes. and Emily, and on Convergence Church. And may the next 32 years in your leadership yes. be even more yes. exciting than it has been under Steve and Marcy. God bless yes. you guys. Bless you both. Hey, Convergence Church, David Wagner here. What an amazing day to celebrate what God is doing, not only at Convergence, but in the life of Steve and Marcy, and now pastors Andrew and Emily Fish. What an exciting day, milestones and miracles taking place. It's just the beauty of the kingdom where the Lord uh, does things multi-generationally and gives us a picture of what the kingdom looks like. And I know that this is the time and this is by divine design, the season that you guys are stepping into as a church. And Andrew, uh, I've been watching some of your teaching and preaching and it's just phenomenal, not just the content, but actually carrying and releasing the intent in the heart of God. And we all know that you are uh, amazing -er, uh because of the amazing woman by your side, Emily. Uh, I believe the Lord is about to is about to magnify and amplify your voice, not just to a, a group of the church, but he's about to make you a, a voice to the body of Christ. And I believe the two of you are about to capture and captivate the heart of a missing generation. And I, I feel like you're about to watch the hand of the Lord begin to bring in not only the lost and the prodigal, but even those that had been uh, those that have walked away from church, they're going to have the hope of a glorious church healed and restored in their life because of the ministry uh, that, the, that the two of you bring. Steve and Marcy, uh, I love you guys, and I know that this is a season not only of handing off a baton, but actually grabbing on to a new one in the realm of, uh, of the apostolic and prophetic and in the missions movement. And uh, the Lord is, is actually about to pour gas on the fire uh, that the two of you carry. He's about to fan that flame and you're about to watch the, the hand of the Lord move with power and with might. But more than that, you're about to watch the, uh, the, the contents of his heart just begin to cascade over regions and nations. And what you have stewarded there at Convergence is now gonna go to a whole nother level uh, because this is the right time uh, and this is the right season uh, to step in uh, to this next uh, place and time and season. So I love you. I wish I could be there with you in person to celebrate. Uh, I love you guys with all my heart. Uh, Convergence, uh, you are a blessed church uh, to be led by such amazing people of integrity who love the presence of God uh, and uh, the supernatural power of God uh, and have a heart that just stewards whatever Holy Spirit is doing and lifts Jesus high because we know that if Jesus is lifted up, he'll draw all men unto himself. 
And so uh, thankful to be a part of this celebration. Sorry about the shaky, uh, the, the shaky camera, uh, but I'm, I'm out and about traveling and I just want to take this moment uh, to tell you I love you and thanks for letting me be a part today. Bless you. I just feel like your, your son has got this church. It's got, the convergence is going to go to the next level. You'll see fruit to that church in coming years that you guys dreamed about seeing, but your son's going to bring it to pass. God's going to work through him. And uh, it's there's a revival mantle on him. There's going to be a voice to a new generation. I see young people coming. Uh, I see a repopulation and an expansion of the church. And all the foundations you've sown of family, of prophecy, of revival, of kingdom, of worship, it's all going to go to the next level. And it's, it's going to be wider and bigger. Thank you, Jesus. Hey guys, it's Michael Miller. I am the lead pastor on the other side of the Metroplex of Upper Room Dallas. And Upper Room loves convergence. Michael and Larissa Miller love Steve and Marcy Fish. We are actually the fruit of their leadership and what you as a community have been pioneering uh, in the Metroplex for decades. We are so grateful and we are so excited about this next chapter and the passing of the baton. Andrew and Emily Fish, yes and amen. I rejoice with heaven. I rejoice with the saints at Convergence for this ordination and the acknowledgement of the leadership call on your life, the, the, the call on you as a couple. Uh, I believe that this is a moment that we're all going to remember when you stepped into this place of authority. I have had uh, the extreme honor of walking with Andrew for the last four or five months. Uh, he's joined a Bible study with my senior leadership team uh, weekly, and we have fallen in love with Andrew, and not only fallen in love with Andrew, but fallen deeper in love with Convergence because of his love for you as a shepherd. Uh, he is a true shepherd. Um, he loves Jesus. He loves the Word of God. Uh, this couple is going to be phenomenal, and so uh, from Upper Room, from Dallas, we join our hearts and our minds by saying yes and amen. Let's do this. The best is yet ahead for Convergence, for Fort Worth, for DFW. We ask God to put a stamp of approval, even this morning, that his glory would fall in new ways there. We love you, fishes, Convergence. Let's go. Oh, <laughs> yes. So Andrew and Emily and Addie want to ask you guys to, to come on up here, oh. or Andrew and Emily, at least. Glad to see you. <laughs> That's great. Yeah. Right. We have a couple of things I want to present to you, Andrew. Just really been praying about what it, what the Lord wanted to wanted me to to give to you at this time. And this um, I want to share because this is a double portion inheritance. And uh, this is your dad's Bible from 1953. Um, 50 years later from the time he prayed for you, from your granddad, from the time that he prayed for you in that 
video that we showed a minute ago. And I want to give that to you in just declaring that you receive the full legacy that is passed down through your family. And that not one prayer that your grandfather prayed for you was in vain. And we bless the seeds that were planted by him. And even the anointing for empowering a generation to encounter God, the passion for revival and the passion for evangelism and souls and equipping people to be all that they can be in God and to boldly Boldly, boldly speak the name of Jesus. And as your grandfather, as I watched him all over the earth, unashamedly speak the name of Jesus in churches, in streets, in restaurants. May you never be ashamed of the name of Jesus. And may you be filled with a contagious Boldness. Thank you, Father. And then I want to give to you this Bible. And uh, this Bible was uh, given to me on my ordination on uh, June 24th, 1984, Calvary Baptist Church in Waco, Texas. And I just bless the legacy, Father, that you have given to me. And Lord, that as Paul laid hands on Timothy, something happened. And Lord, that today as we are praying, that something is happening. Father, that gifts are being released. Gifts are being stirred up. And I just, I release to you, Andrew, the gifts and the legacy that I carry. And I bless the mantle that is upon you to shepherd this team, this family. And I bless that over your life. I bless the prophetic anointing that you carry to increase. I bless the apostolic that's going to go stronger even in your life in this season. That people are going to get around you and know that they have a calling, a destiny. And they're going to know that they are sent by almighty God himself. And many, many will be empowered. We bless what you carry to multiply in Jesus' name. And uh, two Bibles, double portion. And my propheticness <laughs> just can't help but emphasize again, like you just can't make this stuff up. Like all these words you heard from random people who don't even know each other, and they all in one way or another said double portion. And they're going to take it to the next level. They're going to take it into the more. All those things, like God is speaking the same thing, and we're all stepping into it. And so it's very exciting because, you know, when God says it, that's really good, right? And even David Wagner, who had no idea what we were going to do today, spoke over Emily specifically about her voice. And when we were praying about today, what we felt like to give you is this gold microphone, (laughs) which Addie will enjoy. Um, (laughs) um, And we just felt specifically to tell you that we receive and release your voice. That, yeah. (laughs) That your voice is valued and we need your voice. Yeah. And that you're called to do this with Andrew. Therefore, you have supernatural grace and wisdom and anointing for what yes. you're stepping into. Yes. And you're one of the best mothers I know. <laughs> and you bring all your mothering to convergence. So be a mama first at home 
and then with your church family. Your love, your nurturing, your fun, your adventurous spirit, your amazing planning skills, <laughs> your fierce protection, your knowing of God and your history with him, you bring all of that into this place. And God takes it and breathes his supernatural grace on it for this new place, and all of it grows into double portion. Yes. Amen. Yes. I want to ask our elders and their wives to come on up here, and I'm just going to pray and lay hands on Andrew and Emily. Staff, why don't you also come and surround us here, our team. Emily's parents, you guys come on too. Yes, absolutely. We are going to pray over them, and then we are going to all step into this double portion season. And then we're going to celebrate with amazing, fun food yeah. Yeah. and party. Yeah. Yeah, thank you, Lord. Uh, Andrew, um, uh, I just heard the Lord say that I, you're not only in me and I in you, but I know your leanings. I know when you lean on me. And I feel like the Lord is going to honor, honor that and uh, bring forth, bring forth more than what you expected. Yeah. And so, Lord, I, and I just want to praise these scripture verses that uh, came to me this morning. And, and so I just say, be strong and courageous for the Lord has made an appointment. He has given a commandment. And he has made an appointment for you. Mm. And so, Lord, we just say that the aim of that charge mm. is love mm. from a pure heart, a clear conscience, mm. and a sincere faith. Mm. And we say yes to your appointment, Lord. And we recognize this. And I, and, and I just want to say, can I say to the church, something very precious has happened. There's a unity of spirit, and God has brought something out over years, over years, and has brought. And what we're doing today is recognizing what He has chosen. It's not a passing, merely a passing of a baton. It is a literally a double portion, but it's the recognition of an appointment from God. And we say yes to that. We say yes. Yes. And Andrew and Emily, uh, today uh, you're beginning in walking into a new dimension. And what I hear the Lord say is that dimension is also going to walk in you. It's going to meet you and you're going to have a heightened sense of hearing and seeing and feeling. And you're going to be amazed by that. You're going to enter into a new level of joy as the kingdom uh, moves uh, in you and you move into the kingdom. And I want to thank the Lord for uh, the heart that you have. Uh, thank you, Father, for the favor that you are imparting to Andrew and Emily. Uh, Lord, for the destiny that they have and for the power and love uh, that will meet them in that place. And I thank you, Father, that you will... Uh, always have more than sufficient uh, for them and that uh, they can walk in that peace and joy in the Holy Spirit. So uh, during worship, I, I saw a picture of uh, you, Andrew, um, sitting next to Jesus on the shore of the uh, Sea of Galilee. And uh, you're just sitting there um, enjoying time with Jesus and you were cleaning your nets and Jesus was showing you how to clean your nets and he was showing you how to how to how to repair them and it was it was just a sweet intimate moment you guys you were cutting up together um, there was no stress it was just 
um, a beautiful moment of rest, um, rest and preparation for harvest. Um, and um, you kind of looked up and the waves were coming in. And as the wa waves were, were crashing, um, just kind of gent gent gentle crashing, you, were, you, you, you matched your breathing with the, the rhythm of the shoreline. You breathed in as, as they crashed and exhaled as, as, as the, the water receded. And, um, and there was something just holy about the, 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 the breathing and just the calm, the, the calmness, you were just breathing in his presence. And just, um, and I want to, I want to encourage you every time you're at the ocean in real life, like every time you're at a place with waves, I just, I, I want to encourage you to just match your breathing with the waves um, and just let it be a moment of, of, of rest and renewal and knowing that Jesus is right next to you. Um, and, um, and then I, then I looked, and, and Jesus was kind of playing a little bit. He was, like, playing with his palm a little bit. And I wasn't exactly sure what it was. And I kind of looked over his shoulder, and I saw his, um, the nail-pierced hands. And then I looked, and I saw, right next to the, the piercing, I saw um, the name Emily. And he was just, um, Emily, he was just etching. He was just... He was just writing in cursive, just along the etching of your name, um, and and he, you, you are you are engraved in his hand, and he he loves you so much. And Jesus is constantly just tracing your name etched in his hand. Um, and and Addy, I saw after that like there's a rainbow across the sea and all of a sudden I looked up Addy and Jesus was the, at the top of the rainbow and he's like Addy come here come here and you could and Addy you could climb up the, the rainbow and then you went sliding with Jesus <laughs> up and down the rainbow and I was like wow I want to do that <laughs> but just as a, as a family you connecting together with Jesus I just pray that everything you do just f flows out of that sweet, intimate connection in the name of Jesus. Yeah, so uh, when, I, when I was, just as we began worship today, I, I, I literally saw people, they're still alive, but I saw people in their prayers. I saw Bill Johnson, I saw Danny Silk, I saw Chris Velaton, Dan McCollum, Patricia King, face after face after face. 30 plus years of prayers and prophecies, Heidi Baker, like they were just flooding in and, and it's so real because it's real before the throne. It's eternal what they prayed. It's eternal what they prophesied. It's eternal what, what this family has fought for. And it's ever before his throne. It is alive. They were not dead prayers. They were not dead prophecies. It was the breath of Jesus. And Jesus once said, what I say and what I give never dies. And I, I asked the Lord, what does this mean? And he said, this is a fullness of time moment, Nikki. We are, we are literally witnessing a fullness of time moment. Just as Jesus' manifestation on the earth was a fullness of time moment and that we reckon, those who recognized him and could see him and perceive it, they received then from him. And so we do not pass by this moment. Just as Steve was saying just now, like we witness right now, this is a fullness of time moment. But just as Jesus was a fullness of time moment, it wasn't the end. It was just the beginning of more. It was just the beginning of more. And so the, I, then I heard the Lord say, you're witnessing fullness of time because it's a release of the immeasurably more than you have asked for or imagined. It is more than what the prophets and the apostles prophesied. It is more than what even the saints believed. It is always the immeasurably more. It is more. And so Jesus, we recognize right now the fullness of time moment of Steve and Marcy and their legacy. We recognize the fulfillment of the prophecies over Andrew and Emily. We say yes and amen to it. We recognize it. And now we call forth the immeasurably more. We call forth all that we not only have asked, but we could have more than we could have imagined Jesus. And we believe that, that you will do it 
because you are faithful. You are the alpha and the omega. You are the beginning and the end. You are the author and the finisher of this story. And it's just getting better. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. So, Lord, we thank you for this moment. We thank you for your hand. Why don't we all stand right now and just extend our hands to Andrew and Emily. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. We thank you for this moment. And, and we set you guys in as senior leaders here. Andrew, we ordain you. We set you in as an elder in this house. We bless you to take the place that the Lord has opened up for you for this season. And we bless you in it. We bless you both. We bless your family to prosper as never before. We bless you to have encounters with Jesus greater than you've ever dreamed of. We bless you to have vision and revelation, to be fruitful and multiply. We declare the grace of the Lord is upon you. The empowering presence of God is upon you. And we do bless what you're releasing, God, in this Kairos moment. And as a house, as a family, we together say yes to this new season. We say yes to the double portion. We say yes to the more. We take our place in the earth. We take our place in heaven. We take our place as a family, Lord, as a sent ones with your hand upon us, God. We take our place in this city. We take our place for every gift to be activated. And we thank you for it, Lord. We bless you, God, for all that you're doing. We say thank you, Lord. I think we all need to say thank you, Lord, for double portion. Thank you, Lord, for double portion. Yes. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. <laughs> all right. Well, let's just give the Lord a shout. Thank you, Lord. Woo! Thank you, Lord. Wow. Well, we're going to have a reception right here in the foyer, just honoring Andrew and Emily. We encourage you to, to stick around, bless them. Thank you so much for coming out today. And uh, we're excited about where God's taking us. And greater things are still ahead. Amen? Amen. Bless you.